hello guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will see given in order and post order traversal of a binary tree how to construct that binary tree and also how to find the pre-order of that given binary tree first what we do is we traverse the left subtree given a node we traverse the left subtree and then come back and process the root node this is the root node and then go back and traverse the right subtree so here the sequence will be left root and then right in the post order traversal what we do is we first traverse the left subtree then come back to the root then again traverse the right subtree and th and then after traversing both the left and right subtree when we again come back to root then we process the root so in in order we have left root and right combination and in post order we have left right and root combination so given the post order here you can determine that a will be the root of this entire tree and in the in order you can see that a is present in the middle and so these three nodes to the left of a will fall to the left subtree of a and f and c the two nodes will fall to the right subtree of a so when you create a tree then a will be root and in the left subtree you know that d b and e will be present and in the right subtree f and c will be present now you have these three elements to the left you will call a recursive function okay so this will be a recursive function the entire code for this problem will be present in the description section below so you can check it out you can see that d b e is present to the left of a so it will be the left subtree of a what you need to do is you need to make a recursive call in the recursive call you will pass in order to be d b and e and what you will pass as a post order you will pass post order as the first three elements first three elements because the number of elements should be same in both in order and post order and in post order the first three why are we only passing this first three elements because the leftmost element will belong to the left subtree and since we are processing the left subtree of a so that is why we will count from the left left hand side okay so this post order will contain d e b so now what you will do is since you have these three elements you can say that seeing the post order b will be the root so in this b will be the root and so b is present in the middle d will be the left subtree e will be present in the left in the right subtree now you will again make a recursive call for this left subtree when you again make the recursive call then the in order will be d and post order will also be d since you have only one element so you will just make the node d and come back to b after coming back to b you will make a recursive call to the right subtree of b right subtree only contains e so in order will have only e post order will also have only e since this d has already been processed you have only e so since there is only one node e will be made and after processing both the left and the right subtrees this b will return and to which node it will return since this b is connected to a and b lies to the left of a so b will return to a because a is the parent of b now all the nodes to the left of a have been processed now what we will do is we will make a call to the right side of a so this f and c will be called here in order will contain fc and post order will contain this fc you can see that fc is also the same sequence here c is the c is the root okay since this is the last node so you will make c as a root now this f in the in order you can see that f is present to the left of c so c will have left child as f so what you will do is you will again make a recursive call and there in 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 order you will just have f and in post order you will also have just f since there will be only one node you will just create the node come back to c since there is no node to the right of c so nothing will be done it will be null it will be empty now c will return c will return to a because c is connected to a so what will be the final tree this will be like this c will be connected and c will have f as the left child so this will be the entire binary tree so let us traverse this tree in order to calculate the pre order when we first reach the node then we will give it as a pre order output we start from the root a 
A is traversed for the first time, we will print it. We will come to B. B will be traversed. Now you will come to D. D will be traversed. All these nodes are null because these are leaves and the right side of C is also null. We will go to left side of D. It is not present. Right side of D is also not present. We will go to B. We will come to E. We will write here E. We will go to left side not present. Right side is also not present. We will go to B. Then again come back to A. We will reach C. We will print C. After C we will reach F. We will print F. After F, we will go to left side, right side not present, C already printed and we will reach A. So this will be our pre-order traversal, A, B, D, E, C, F. So given in order and post order, what you will do is you will first construct the binary tree and after constructing you can easily traverse this using this simple trick to find the pre-order traversal as well. I hope you were able to understand this lecture. If you have any other problem then do comment below. I will try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos. See you in our next video. Thank you.